Seattle Seahawks. Um, you know, last year they they were in playoff contention for a while and then just kind of very quietly just faded away from it, just faded their way out of the playoff race. Like one moment you looked and all of a sudden it's like, oh, the Seahawks are out of the playoffs now, and that's it. Um, now, obviously, Pete Carroll's out for the first time in a long time. Things are a lot different here. What can we expect to see? I definitely think there's going to be a backslide to the point where it's like, yeah, they have young talent, but like losing Bobby Wagner is losing the leadership. He may not be playing like he did the first stint there, but like losing Jordan Brooks is huge. Releasing Quandry Diggs and um, Jamal Adams. If one of them got released, I don't. Th- I wouldn't say it's panic mode, but the fact that both got released, I'm not so certain that they're going to be that successful on defense. To me, it just screams that they don't really want to pay anybody, except for maybe the receivers that they have um, to keep them around for when I, th- I think next year they're going to be in contention for one of the top quarterbacks, and I think that's how they're going to turn this around. But Byron Murphy is one hell of a pick, and that was. That was my favorite thing that they did. Yeah. I, I One thing I will say is, I you know, the Seahawks may be in a danger territory here. I'll get to that in a moment. You know, we're kind of wondering, how long is this Geno Smith train going to keep going? Um, you know, he looked so great, um, you know, two years ago. And then last year, kind of dropped off a little bit, but still played okay. Is he going to be able to keep that up this year? You know, like a lot, I feel like there's a lot of skeptics and sometimes I find myself in that category as well. Um, you know, without the same play callers on offense, you know, is it is it going to work out as well? But at the same time, he does have ways to succeed because they have incredible skill talent. You know, they got a great running back in Walker, um, you know, a great trio of receivers in Metcalf, Lockett, and Jackson. What's the Smith, what's the other guy? Chabernet. Yeah, yeah, Charbonnet. Charbonnet. Uh, I think so even they even they're even deep at running back. Um, the main concerns on offense are Geno Smith and the offense line. And if if Geno Smith is not going to be able to keep the momentum going, if he does not pan out, this is where this team's in a bit of a danger territory because. They still may not suck enough to get a top quarterback, and do yeah. they find themselves in the mid middle territory as a result? I think they're gonna probably be like a four or five win team, but Ooh. Say, yeah, you're expecting I, them to suck. Yeah, uh, I think Geno Smith is not gonna have a terrible season. I think it's mainly gonna be a defensive thing, to where they're gonna put all their faith in Geno Smith's arm. And as much as I want to see Geno Smith succeed, I don't think that he can sustain uh, comebacks like Patrick Mahomes, Joe Burrow, Justin Herbert, Josh Allen. Like, I don't, I don't think he has it in him like that. And Sam Howell will, uh, I think they plan on having him for the future. And I do like Sam Howell but I just don't think they have enough on this team to really compete. You're really one of the biggest Sam Howell fans out there. (laughs) I might be the only one at this point. (laughs) Yeah. I don't think he was given a fair chance. And I think people labeled him as a bad quarterback because he just slid to the fifth round. And I think he can be a decent quarterback, but I just don't think right now is the answer to that. I think he's gonna I think they're both gonna put up okay numbers, but yeah, my thing with Howell is like, yeah, he was with Washington and hardly anyone stands a chance there. But at the same time, like the guy just took way too many sacks. Like he golly, that guy loved getting hit by defensive linemen. Um, yeah, you need to speed up your process a little bit, but yeah, I'm a little bit skeptical what the secondary is going to look like as well because those are some big losses and you know linebacker linebacker as well uh, while we're talking about it but you know i love the brian murphy pick like i feel like that's a huge one for the defensive line 
The defensive line has needed like a top guy for a while now. Um, and he provides that. But yeah, I, I I I'm I'm so far I don't see them as bad as you do. I, I see them as a pretty solid team. I just don't know if they are gonna be good enough to make the playoffs. Yeah. I, I don't think they're making the playoffs at all. I don't think there's a shot. Uh that's enough Seahawks talk. Moving on.